child in this home may be the reason everyone escaped the massive fire at a mansion in Hingham. That tonight is nothing but a pile of ash. Julie McDonald is live in Hingham. And Julie, first responders are giving this boy a lot of credit. Yeah, quite a story here, Lisa. And one complication uh, in determining a cause that started this fire is that it burned to the ground. There's nothing left to the home. Meanwhile, tonight, the fire chief was encouraging other neighbors here in this Hingham neighborhood to water down their mulch beds in case of any embers landing on their property. That was actually alert, an alert that came up on my iPhone just from being in the area. The flames were so fast moving, filling this huge Hingham home Monday, that the first firefighters knew their mission would be protecting neighbors. Based on the conditions when we arrived on scene, there was no thought of being able to safely put anyone inside the main building here. And incredibly, the people who had been inside all made it out just in time. Investigators say it sounds like a child first noticed the flames out on a porch. Him and the nanny immediately tried to make their way out of the house, and then he remembered that the painter was on the second floor, uh, ran back inside, alerted the painter, and the painter was successfully able to get out. Man Street neighbors were astounded by the time it took to tear three stories, 6,000 square feet to the ground. This woman said a new family had just moved in. We just saw smoke, and then within 30 minutes, it seems like the house was gone. Fire crews were challenged by water issues, pressure and supply, and even more so by strong winds. It was that factor that fueled the fire, helping it to spread to four neighboring homes. There's uh, there's three holes in the top of our house right now, but they put it out, and then our back fence is on fire. I feel bad for these people, though, more than anything. And firefighters here did have help from 120 other firefighters from nine neighboring towns. The fire chief says no injuries were reported. Live in Hingham tonight, I'm Julie McDonald, WBZ News. Julie, thank you.